Hi Kaliti here and welcome back to another graphic design tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this low poly effect on Photoshop. One of my viewers just asked me, um, my homie Saifis, Saifis, I, I don't know how to pronounce that so thank you so much for watching and yeah, he said, hey dude, I'm wondering how did you do your background in your video. So this is from the how to create uh, animated text on iOS so this is way back in the day so this is it's pretty much maybe like two years ago maybe a year ago and yeah see, he said uh, he asked me how did I make uh, the thumbnail and as you can see uh, here okay as you can see here from the uh, thumbnail itself the actual thumbnail and you can see that we have this polygonal triangular thing going on on the background and it's pretty similar to what I just did onto this picture. Okay, so this is a very simple tutorial. So what you're going to do is go to the link down below in the description and this is going to direct you to this website, it's github.io and this is going to be a generator of a low poly, uh, yeah, low poly background. So I just uh, found this website like back in the day and yeah i really want to share some knowledge for you guys and this is one of the best uh tool uh, graphic design tool out there on the website so this is free and it's super easy to use and it doesn't require you to be a pro graphic designer for you to use it and yeah so okay so what do we get here we have some render options so we have you can change the width and the height of the document itself so you can change to pretty much anything that you want like 1440 like that or maybe you can make it like small like that like that but yeah, I'm gonna revert it back to 720p like that and okay so what else do we got here we have some uh, cell size which is pretty much just uh, change your size of the polygons yeah if it's too big it doesn't look so natural it's yeah it looks pretty cool it looks pretty sick and okay there we go and the cell padding and the bleed are i i don't exactly know what they are but yeah it makes it kind of makes the the polygons itself a bit more natural so this is not something that humans do all right this is all of those uh, random number generator things so this is what computers do and yeah to make it look natural and look more abstract -y. and yeah so you can just play around with the meter of the cell padding and the bleed and yeah don't mess around with the cell size I mean like yeah, it's personal preference, but yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, just play around until you get the one that you like. So, yeah, something like that. Okay, I guess that's pretty cool. Okay, maybe like small down the size. And yeah, it's pretty cool with the uh, with the polygons. Okay, now I'm gonna change the color because it doesn't look really good. Okay, how about this kind of pastel? looking thing it's pretty good this looks pretty cute and yeah it looks pretty bright and let's see how about another uh, color scheme oh this looks pretty sick though not gonna lie and oh, it looks doesn't look really good and if it's if this palette list is not enough for you uh, although it's holy shit it's it's yeah it's loads of them you can also just randomize the colors and yeah you just you just gotta take your time and then just search for this the combination that you like play around with the meters and yeah this is not something that you are um rushing about and yeah this looks pretty cool so it, oh damn it looks sick okay so once you've already uh, finished with the low poly itself you can also just you can also just regenerate the the polygons like that yeah, and just re-randomize the, the polygons, yeah, just, yeah, it's, everything is pretty randomized, and yeah, okay, that looks pretty sick. Okay, once you've already finished with the low poly picture itself, you can also just go download the picture itself, but for some reason, I do not think the download button is working at all, so as I'm clicking, I'm clicking this button, but it doesn't 
do anything it, nothing happened so what I did was right click on the download and then just click on open link in new tab and it will open a new tab and it will show something like this okay so you can also just you can just save image as and then just put it on your uh, your computer if you planning to use this as your background or anything yeah, and yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty sick but what I'm gonna do is just to copy image and then just paste uh, the picture onto uh, Photoshop which I'm going to be using the color correction on and now it's already on Photoshop uh, on the canvas you can just use the adjustments like hue and saturation to change the hue the color schemes like maybe something like this or maybe something like that a bit more pink like that but um, I guess this is pretty cool and maybe change the saturation so you can make the colors have more presence and okay, you can also change the lightness something like that okay like okay and then you can also change the curves to make a bit more faded something like that and oh no 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 that's not looking really good and yeah that looks pretty sick and okay and then you can also change the levels just to make the dark colors a bit more dark and then the bright appears more bright to like that and yeah it looks really sick god damn looks really sick though okay that's pretty much it how to make the low poly effect and i just managed to get this combination it looks pretty sick but it's actually just uh, heavily edited did a little bit of things onto the uh, raw file itself and then I come up with this and it's it looks pretty saturated and yeah, it, it looks pretty bright and all and Yeah, so yeah, I guess you can just do anything with this You can also just put it on Photoshop and then use some color correction on it and yeah So yeah, it's pretty much it for the low poly effect tutorial. So it, So it's a really beginner friendly tutorial you can use this uh, picture on anything you can use this on your as your background for your computer or also your uh, phone and stuff like that and yeah you can also edit this and use it on your posters and all of your design projects and uh, yeah it's okay yeah, it, it's versatile as well and yeah so that's pretty much it for the tutorial itself and yeah don't forget to leave a like down below it's free if you really find this tutorial very helpful and don't forget to leave a comment down below for some feedbacks suggestions and questions and i will try my best to answer all of them and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and awesomeness and yeah Thank you so much for watching. My name is Psychality and see you around. Bye bye. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.